Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Today, we're gonna to be checking out a kind of new track from Falling in Reverse entitled The Drug in Me is Reimagine. For those of you who don't know, I'm assuming this is a reimagined version of their classic, The Drug in Me is You. I absolutely love that song when it came out years ago. I love the whole album that it came out with. Uh, and it's actually what got me into Falling in Reverse in the first place. So um, this is a reimagined version. I'm assuming that means kind of a more chill, soft version. So don't expect any crazy breakdowns. But um, yeah, I'm expecting just some crazy emotion. You know, if they make the feels reels, then uh, that's really all that matters. So um, I'm excited to hear what they did with it. Let's get into it. I like the snowy background. Oh, fuck, okay. Extra dark. Just in case. I don't know he could play piano, that's awesome. Oh, that main riff sounds really cool on the piano. Damn, sing, bro. Fuck yeah. I really like the video so far, too. How are they going to do the chorus? I lost my goddamn mind. Damn. all the time. I can't believe I'm actually meant to be here. Trying to consume. Drug in me is you, and I'm so high on misery. Yeah, this is this is mesmerizing, man. Can't you see? Ooh, that main riff progression sounds so nice in this version. I've got these questions always running through my head. So many things. Oh, I like that. He's adding a little more grit with his voice. Oh, fuck yeah. Damn. Did not expect him to go that much power in his voice. You know, in a chill version. Ooh, like that. Get it up there, buddy. Oh, he's doing the fucking soul on the piano. Fuck yeah, man. That's really cool. I didn't think he'd do the solo. I've lost myself. You try to reach me, but you just can't help me. So long, goodbye. You try to save me, it won't work this time. Oh. I like that. They went ham, 
and a nice kind of clean break here. Okay. Yes. Wow. That gave me fucking goosebumps, dude. What? Oh, little. Teen, teenage Nick is super happy right now. Wow, holy shit. There was falling in reverse. The drug in me is reimagined. I'm gonna tell you right now, the feels were reals. That was beautiful. What the hell, man? Honestly, I I came into this thinking like, okay, you know, it's, it's just gonna be the song again, but a soft version. And yeah, to a point, that's what this was, but they completely added a whole nother just element to this track that's just so fucking crazy. Damn, man. I felt that shit. That was nice. Let's get into it. So, I mean, there's not really like a lot of guitar or anything like that during the song just at the end. So, instrumental as a whole, right? Beautiful. I love the symphony stuff going on. It very subtly, but very nicely and calmly accented, you know, the piano going on and, and everything like that. It wasn't overpowering. It was just nice. It was just a nice layer that really oomphed everything up. Loved that. Obviously, the shining point is the piano playing. That dude, Ronnie, holy shit! I did not know he could play piano at all, especially not that well. That is awesome. I loved. I loved seeing that. That was really cool. Um, I loved how just the piano. It wasn't super different from you know what the instrumental is doing in the original. Actually, it's very similar. Like even when. Again, I was so shocked when he actually played the solo, <laughs> pretty much, um, on the piano. I was like, damn. And it sounds so just natural. It doesn't sound like he's playing some crazy different song. It, it sounds like, you know, just a very well done different version of the song. And the piano really accents and highlights all the awesome melodies instrumentally that are in the original song. So that was just so fucking cool to hear. I absolutely loved that. Um, and then just near the end, the instrumental kicking in, that was an awesome surprise. I did not expect to see that ace, man. That, that was so fucking cool. Um, and Ronnie, man, dude, that was beautiful, man. I loved that. Like I, you know, obviously I've been checking their, their stuff out for, for years now. And I know a lot of people, everyone knows the dude can sing really well. He can scream really well. But man, this was just show, really showcasing that nice, emotional, just singing side of him. And he, and it was just awesome. I loved hearing that dude is such a good fucking singer. You know, he, he hits those high notes crazy well. And there's so much emotion in his voice. It bleeds through. And that is so needed for a version in a song like this. Because... The whole point is to make people feel something with a more reimagined, chill version. And damn, you know, the instrumental really made you feel, but his voice, man, like you felt that. You felt like almost what he was feeling when he wrote the original with all those lyrics and stuff. And that's so cool to translate art like that. Art like that. I loved that. So damn, Ronnie, that was that was awesome. And then when he added the grit, not even at the end yet. I'll get to the end. The end's amazing. Um, just during the main song, he added a bit of grit in his voice. I loved hearing that. I feel like so many 
musicians and bands are either one way or the other. They either, either do like a super clean reimagined version or they do a super heavy, you know, version. And it's like, you know, I like that when it called for adding a bit of that grit, he wasn't scared to, you know, you know, add it and be like, this doesn't just have to be a simply clean basic version of a song this can be just purely emotional and sometimes adding that grit you know adding a bit of that scream in there um adds tons of emotion he did that perfectly like shit i loved hearing that it surprised me i I didn't expect to hear anything like that um from him i just expected him to sing really well which he did but hearing that extra grit and hearing him really delve into that whole other side that he's good at which is kind of the screaming and the sing screaming and the yelling and all that and using those to his advantage to really convey that emotion was so awesome to hear. The ending, mm, that shocked the shit out of me. I honestly, you know, they had that long chill break there. I thought that was it. I thought they were just going to kind of fade out like most people would. I can't believe the whole band comes in at the end. That's a really cool twist. And he just, Ryan goes, yeah, hey, man. And fuck yeah. I loved that. It just made everything so much extra emotional like it really felt like a story building track right and this is a reimagined track you know not only did they do the original tons of justice like this is no doubt the drug in me is you but they just upped it to a whole different modern grown-up level you know, and I love hearing that. And I got to give these dudes props, you know, because I, I get it. They, they have, you know, they're a big band, right? With any big band that has done experimental stuff, has done heavy stuff and chill stuff and pop stuff. Like, you're going to have tons of haters and people who love your music and everything in between, right? And I got to say, a lot of big bands I see evolve over the years. They, they start to just kind of not care about where they came from and, you know, what made them special. And, you know, it's almost like some of them are ashamed of their original songs that made them popular or things like that, right? Because they were just young kids. And I get that, right? You know, I get that they want to feel like, you know, that's in the past. They're grown up now. They want to completely change everything and, and almost erase that. Um, but I love how, you know, this is full proof of that these guys never forget where they came from. You know what I mean? And this is such a beautiful, um, you know, vision and, and art that really displays evolution to me and growing up. You know, when bands say we, grow, we grew up and changed our style, this is what I expect them to actually showcase us a lot of the time. And, and they don't. This is a perfect example of, yeah, we, you know, we're still the same guys. We still, you know jam a lot of the same stuff maybe our styles have slightly changed over the years but we still come from the same place and this is just a grown-up version of what we were this is a perfect example of that and i loved hearing this honestly awesome job um i don't listen to much reimagined stuff to be completely honest you know i'll listen to softer chill music and stuff um decently frequently but in terms of like a piano based song it's it's not something i listen to a lot um, but from what I've heard and, you know, what I could possibly even compare this to, this is an extremely well done song and congratulations to honestly everyone who fucking involved, you know, and I'm not just being nice cause you know, I, I like this band and it's obvious, you know, I enjoyed this band. I love their last single, you know, popular monster is amazing. This is just a really fucking well done version of a song. And, um, you know, for those of you who didn't hear the original, maybe it was a little harder to see some of that stuff and completely understand what i recommend is go listen to the original and come back and listen to this um but really well done guys ace you know out of five nicks i don't even know what i'd rate this is it's just a great song i love that experience um is it something i put on repeat maybe not just because you know personally i don't listen to a lot of this kind of stuff that's it though but in terms of that one-time experience that was magical i got goosebumps Four or four, four or four and a half nicks out of five, because there was tons of innovation, especially for a reimagined cover, and it was just so perfectly well done. You know what I mean? So awesome job, guys. Anyways, I have talked a lot. If you guys like this song, um, go show them the love. Go comment on the original video. Go like it. Go see them on tour. Apparently, I think they're playing this live, which is that's really cool. 
Um, go show them love. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Be sure to leave a comment on your thoughts on this song. Again, I get it. It's not metal, and I'm a metal reaction channel. I just re reviewed Code Orange, for fuck's sake. You know, extremely heavy stuff. <laughs> so a lot of you are probably like, why are you checking this out now? Um, but um, I'm glad I did. This was such a nice, beautiful song. Like, fuck, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you like this guys, um, you know, tell me your thoughts and, um, I want to give a special thanks to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it as always much love. If you yourself are interested in becoming a Patreon, be sure to click the link on the screen and description down below. And if you want to check out more videos for me, be sure to click right over here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.